And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Weather from where you live. Well, quite a day yesterday, but today we're already starting in the low 60s. 60 degrees currently, that visibility right around two and a half miles. And it's thanks to some light fog out there, so that may be a problem for you as you get out throughout the door, through the doors this morning and out on that roadway. So use some caution on those roads. We're looking at record-breaking heat today. Temperatures climbing into the upper 80s and low 90s. Our record high temperature for Lafayette today, 89 degrees. So if we hit that 90 like we should later this afternoon, we'll break it by one degree later in the day today. And it looks like we could also be dealing with some afternoon storms for our northern counties. We'll see that system of rain continue to drag further to the east as it does that. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of those actually could be strong. You could be dealing with some small hail and warmer temperatures will be sticking around for the time being. Let's jump to precision. We can show you exactly where that rain is as of now. Check out the system of rain. Here's the warm front just off to our east that moved through yesterday afternoon. It also fueled that storm that moved through Fountain and Montgomery counties last night. Now this is the same exact system associated with that. That is a cold front that will drag slowly across the viewing area throughout the morning or throughout the late morning and early afternoon. Not going to cool anything off at all. We're going to be seeing temperatures stay in the upper 80s and low 90s for at least the next three days. But as that drags across our far northern counties, that will actually begin to produce some showers, some thunderstorms, and some of those thunderstorms, as you can see, still uh, producing some warnings here over the last six hours. So that's something we're going to keep our eye on throughout the day today. As that moves further to the east, we're still going to be seeing more rain on the way as well. But for the majority of our viewing area, we stay dry today, partly cloudy. And that's what's going to allow things to heat up so much throughout the day today. Temperatures climbing to those upper 80s. Winds from the southwest as high as 25 miles per hour throughout the afternoon hours, and that's what's going to help warm things up. There's that slight chance of rain. Those are for the northern counties alone. The rest of us should stay dry. 65 degrees expected by 9 a.m., 82 by your lunch hour. We're all the way up to 90 degrees, breaking that record by 5 p.m. later in the day today. So mostly clear to partly cloudy skies for the southern half of our viewing area this afternoon. Partly cloudy overnight tonight. We still stay at 67 degrees, certainly a mild night. And then by tomorrow, we're looking at much of the same story. We stay dry throughout the majority of the day, but a chance of rain moves in late Friday, or late uh, Thursday night into early Friday. Brings another chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but those temperatures climb right back up into the low 90s for Thursday as well. 90 degrees, your high temperature once again, breaking another record. Some clouds during the afternoon, but rain moves in later on in the evening hours and sets us up for a stormy Friday with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. In fact, we're also looking at a slight risk of severe weather on Friday as well. So plenty of uh, activity in the atmosphere over the next few days thanks to all this heat, and that will be sticking around here throughout the next few days as well. So 90 today, 90 tomorrow. Record-breaking heat there. We could match a record on Friday, 88 degrees, and then those temperatures begin to tail off just a little bit. Still well above average for this time of the year. 83 degrees expected on Saturday, and by Sunday we're down to 72. But the rain chances stick around for Saturday afternoon. Another chance for some stronger thunderstorms that day. And then finally, all that convective activity moves off to our south. All that energy, all that fuel for thunderstorms moves to our south. And then we're looking at drier and calmer conditions with temperatures in the low to mid 70s and the chance of rain coming at the beginning of next week. All right, thanks, Cameron.